I'm here in the British Library exhibition Shakespeare in Ten Acts and I'm standing in the part of the exhibition which explores the theme of bardolatry. Bardolatry was a term coined by George Bernard Shaw in 1901 to describe the kind of godlike worship of Shakespeare that we're pretty familiar with today. And although it was only coined in the 20th century, it's actually a phenomenon that dates back much, much earlier than that. So in Shakespeare's hometown of Stratford-upon-Avon, there had been early signs of bardolatry in the century or so following Shakespeare's death, where people would visit the town to look at uh, the, uh, the famous mulberry tree that Shakespeare supposedly planted in his garden at New Place. Um, and they also requested copies of, the, uh, of Shakespeare's funeral bust as well. It wasn't really until 1769 uh, that bardolatry really took off. And that's because this was the year that Stratford decided to put on a Shakespeare Jubilee, which took the form of a three-day festival. Um, you might perhaps want to describe it as a sort of Glastonbury for Shakespeare fans, because knowing the English weather in September, um, it actually rained for most of the three days, and many of the events of the Jubilee had to be cancelled. However, um, it did go down in history as an important event in terms of Shakespeare's continuing reputation. And that's partly because David Garrick, the leading Shakespearean actor of the day, who was really the figurehead of the celebrations, was able to uh, perform uh, the Jubilee Ode that he had written in tribute to Shakespeare. This proclaimed Shakespeare as the god of our idolatry, and in it Garrick proclaimed Shakespeare's everlasting fame. What I'm looking at here is um, a handbill that lists all the events of the Shakespeare Jubilee over the course of the three days and it goes into great detail about the music and the dancing and the extremely elaborate fireworks which were shown which are listed in great great detail. Um, it also tells us that a horse race was run um, in Shakespeare's honour but what's really strange about it is that there wasn't actually one single performance of Shakespeare's work over the course of the whole three days. The Jubilee did give rise to a lot of merchandise, both official and unofficial. So you could buy um, your Jubilee rosette or a Jubilee medallion, even a Jubilee handkerchief. Um, and to go alongside the official Jubilee handkerchief, there was also uh, an unofficial satirical one, which uh, lampooned the farcical events of the three days um, with the excessive amount of rain that had been had. So ultimately, the Jubilee was really instrumental in confirming Shakespeare's position as England's national poet, and also for kind of kick-starting uh, brand Shakespeare, whereby many people made a lot of money out of Shakespeare's celebrity, something that is still very much in evidence today.